Hello, this is Haku to Bean, and today we are going to Utambul. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I'm glad Jeff the Killer has turned into just a funny, silly internet guy nowadays, but god, I wish people realized the fact that his original mythos had him as a shitty 13 year old old more. The Jeff the Killer jokes are funny as is, but even funnier if you imagine him as a shitty edgelord preteen that barely comes up to your chest. Sorry to all his friends, but Jeffrey is grounded from Jeff to killing you until he finishes his social studies homework. Evil game design and must never be done for money reasons. Evil game design must be done for the love of evil itself. It's actually very simple. All cartoon characters have Schrodinger's junk if they exist in a quantum superposition of smooth like a Barbie doll and hung like a Horace. And we collapse the rate formats and resolves to whichever option makes a joke land. Do you have a dick all the time? Not all the time, only when it's funny. I go to bed. I am consumed by overwhelming loneliness. I stare at the ceiling. I long for something I can't name. I question if I'm real. I see a funny little meme. My fun and laugh hysterically for several minutes. I get too invested in an unrealistic fantasy. I pass out around three. Rinse and repeat every single night. Not claim to thoroughly understand and all the workings of nature, I would like to know what advantage there is in wearing sideburns. I Still don't understand and why facial O'Hare exists. There is a parallel universe where Tumblr is actually a great functioning site. It's exactly as shitty, but every other social media site is worse by comparison. Whoville? Celebrating Christmas means there was a Who Jesus, and I can't stop imagining what kind of insane susical contraption they would have had. They would have had to crucify people. The crucifixion. You can't just keep this into tags, the galactic bucket. They can't. Because it's where I called them out. <laughs> and I guess I did too. Also. Lemon. Boomers. When life ends you lemons, make lemonade. Gen X. When life ends you lemons, create a startup market to ooh, create a startup to market lemon juice as a healthy, low carb alternative to lemonade. Millennials. <laughs> as if life would ever just hand you lemons. Gen Z. Blurry sock photo of lemons with the caption Lemon. Lemon. Here have this. Yep. Lemon. Lemon! <laughs> oh crap, I'm a zoomer. That was fast with that. Is that spoilers? Oh yeah, I had to do this again to make sure it was actually... Because I already did it once and I didn't want to have to go through the effort of opening all of that over again. Companies are using Tumblr as an ad format. Please be vigilant. Also, give me actual life hacks to make up for this. I want to kiss you with tongue. I want to kill you with bomb. And they say romance is dead. Tumblr er, headquarters. Liberty University. Gay Sex Command Center. This is where I blog from. And this is where I record from. A girl of about six or seven was about babbling nonsense words at her mom, and I thought to myself, she should be able to form real words and sentences by this age. But then the mom responded in, in kind, and I realized, oh wait, they're speaking French. Charles O'Baron, you are British. I've called you out. Okay, the sandwich. This is like three whole tabs on its own. 
You're going to see. Make a sandwich to bring to school tomorrow. Can someone read a vlog with a fill in to finish the sandwich? I'll go first, okay? Bread. Bread. That's all loud. We start with bread once. It's okay. Take your time. Bread. Garlic powder. Sliced garlic. That's a lot of garlic. Why don't we try something else? Bread. Please save before reblogging. Water. <laughs> Water. Hey. Cheese. 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 I appreciate that because someone who is not a mouse takeover. Ham. So much ham. This is beginning to resemble a sandwich. More cheese! <laughs> mousetrap. Add the mousetrap to the sandwich. Okay, but I don't take time to be ordered around. Lint. Whatever, Christ, I finished you the sandwich. Can you reopen the sandwich? Why is this anonymous? I am shy. Okay, fine. Go ahead. Chernobyl elephant's foot. Sandwich closed. Everybody get down. I too would close the sandwich at this point. All right. Girl boy with a he-him pin on one sleeve and a she-her pin on the other. Two people sitting on on either side of her, aggressively correcting each other on his pronouns. Her pronouns. His pronouns. <laughs> and then they all kiss. Why not? Nineteen sixty three, twenty fourteen. This is fake. They haven't been sound at rock for fifty years. If you look closely, you can clearly see your swimsuit is different in its second photo. It has stripes on it, and the guy's shorts seem to have a more floral pattern in a later photo. Also, someone sat on a rock for, if someone sat on a rock for 50 years, it would have made the news. My theory is they simply returned to the same location 50 years later and recreated the original photo. No way, man. This was taken at the beach that makes you old. Yeah, have you never been there? It's a terrifying place. Honestly, that's a terrifying concept. Jawline so undefined you can measure you can only measure its position or momentum at any given time. The muse of of writing can be an elusive creature. Adams claimed that the title came from a 1971 incident while he was hitchhiking around Europe as a young man with a copy of the Hitchhiker's Guide to Get to Europe book. I was thinking of the galaxy because that's what the name that he came up with. While lying drunk in a field near Innsbruck with a copy of the book and looking at the stars, he thought it would be a good idea for someone to write a hitchhiker's guide to the galaxy as well. He's just like me, for real. Adams developed problems keeping to writing deadlines that got worse as he published novels. Adams was a was never a prolific writer. I usually have to be forced to, by others to do any writing. This included being locked in a hotel suite with his editor for three weeks to ensure that So Long and Thanks for All the Fish was completed. He was quoted as saying, I love deadlines. I love seeing the whooshing, I love the whooshing noise as they make as they go by. We are the same. Nearly a century of, oh wait. Ever since making my house entered public domain, I have been watching Steamboat Willie out of spite and recently and it really just occurred to me that the mascot of one of the biggest corporations in the planet is a mouse who abuses animals for his own goals and refuses to do his chores in a boat, in a boat actively stealing the position of captain from Pete just to make a dumb whistle and then complain that he was disciplined by having to cut overgrown potatoes. No more sex. We ran out of sex. Can you check in the back? This content has to be removed for violating Tumblr's community guidelines. The community guidelines violation pick is arguably more arguably more funnier than whatever the original response to check in the back like for more sex was. I 
I actually saw you play here when I was 17. Oh my goodness, I did. I saw a lot of when you when you played Lier. Everyone laughs. And there is a lot to see. I'm a huge fan and of yours. For context, in that production of King Lear by the Royal or Shakespeare Company, Sir Ian McKellen played the, tit the titular character in a scene where Lear has essentially gone around the bend. Strips completely naked right there on, on stage. New York Craig McKell of Artentier noted in his review, Special note for those who care about such things. In a brief nude scene, McKellen aptly demonstrates the truth of a of Lear's statement that he is every inch a king. Wow, go Ian McKellen. Also, A plus as flirting their tap are in. The web scene is amazing, but I also feel we need to take a moment to appreciate the fact that a respected theater critic took time to mention the review of the pro this production of King Lear that Ian McKellen has a truly impressive thingy. Antarctic eccentric worldview. Bow of the world when the Emperor Penguins finally live up to their name. <laughs> Goodbye 2023. Hello Egyptian text. My Egyptologist friend says this is a very poorly phonetically transcribed English phrase. This year I will get a mommy a boyfriend. Okay, you weren't supposed to know that. Give the mommy boyfriend. Oh yes. We welcome you to the zoo. Watching a Tumblr post I've seen on actual Tumblr appear in a YouTube compilation or some other app always feels like how I imagine wildlife photographers must feel when they see an animal in the zoo they photographed in the wild. Can y'all stop revlogging this? I can see where this is heading, and I don't want to be in the zoo. Ooh, too late. Posts that have 10k to me. Don't you do this to me. The zoo won't have enough enrichment for me. What, Reddit and YouTube don't have enough enrichment for you? No, it's a calming down. I and I'm yet to appear anywhere, to my knowledge. And the wildlife containment people have missed me. <laughs> I'm free. Oh, the air romancer, you are not free. The way I cannot let this post die. It's personal. You monster, you'll bring that right to me. No one escapes a zoo. Face your destiny. I refuse. I will not be caught to at my YouTube Taurus, I shall remain here in my natural habitat with plenty of enrichment. Yeah, it's a PM Seymour. Well, well, well. You 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 were done as soon as I had the the YouTuber that makes a lot of Tumblr content. All the characters in Yugo intro look like their parents told them to do something they didn't want to do. Take out the trash. Ugh. Do the dishes. What? Clear your room. No. Do your homework. How dare you. Can you believe it? This ain't just total lie. Look at this cute little baby seal. Well, to the shredder. Oh. Well. I'm gonna say we're there. Not or not. Gwyn pool art dump. Gwyn, you and I, we kick ass. Damn straight. Ugh. Of course he's going to have another maniac engage in this. <sighs> Answered Sabertooth's motive to kill Ogabi and other Wolverine's loved ones. Just because. He's going to take Gabby! How the fuck? You how the fuck? Huh? 
I've read it. I had to say she's literally just reading a box and thought balloon uh, and right. Reminiscent of this scene. What's the password? Eight? Eight? Really? That is actually right. Yep. I think the next one is the one that I, that we end the video on. Yep, it is. Because after that, it's just a thing that I regret last time I went on Tumblr. I have never seen anyone be normal about this character. Total drama fans either could not care less about this man or are completely rabid about him. There is no in between. I seriously don't watch Total Drama Island, by the way. But this Summer fan does. It's my boy, my son, the only character ever. I love him. I want him to explode. Doomed by a narrative. Doomed by the narrative of com. Condemned to never escape the narrative. Condemned to a fate worse than death. I am in fact the former. I have no real emotions about them outside of the show. But they're treating well. I love how bottom to top of this chain of people reblogging from each other or just gets progressively less normal about Ezekiel. I need him to explode. He's hilarious. It is silly. She's so girl earlier. I love him. So I was again at the bars of my enclosure. My boy, my silly boy, I love her so bad. Look at this stupid freaking face. I need him dead. Just kidding, Zico honey, my pookie bear. Baby girl, darling, I love you. I would die for his lopsided eyes. Why does he look like that? Ed? Is he stupid? Yes. Need to munch him like a plastic bottle. He's so baby, the small ever. Guys, he's a little tiny dog. Be nice to him, puppy. I think that's enough. Okay, well that was r slash Tumblr. We just tumbled a lot. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!